every day for a young person, it is the difference between feeling like they can survive. Um, and we really want to see youth move from survival to thriving. And I think all of us do. As the Toronto Catholic District School Board reinstates a vital resource for LGBTQ2S youth, one organization is highlighting a major gap that exists at a majority of Ontario's Catholic schools. But the TCDSB is taking steps towards changing that in response to recent events that have garnered criticism and concern. There's a much larger issue here, um, and sometimes moments like these push that momentum. Over 85% of Catholic school boards in Ontario do not list any LGBTQ2S plus resources on their website. That's according to the LGBT Youth Line, which provides essential resources and supports for youth 29 and under who are queer, trans and two-spirit. According to the group of the 29 boards in Ontario, 25 have no supports listed. We know we need to continue to push to make sure Catholic school boards and all school boards uh, provide adequate resources so every level of a school institution feels like they know how to support a young person through different parts of their journey. Criticism fell on the TCDSB this week when the board initially removed the LGBT youth line link from their website for what it said was inappropriate material. And months ago, when a school board trustee was sanctioned after making homophobic comments comparing LGBTQ2S issues to criminal acts, that led to community members, including former students, calling on the province to investigate systemic homophobia in the Catholic school board. This is something that needs to be addressed by the ministry and needs to be rolled out uh, province-wide. And that's why we can still say these issues are systemic, because there is no central leadership on the issue. Key trustees were on the front lines of speaking out against homophobia at the board, including just recently, when during a meeting they unanimously passed an amendment to form an LGBTQ2S advisory committee. They're one of our most vulnerable uh, marginalized groups and we need to actually listen to them and hear and reconcile our wrongs and move positively to make sure that we never make them feel unrepresented within our board. A good first step for Kyle, a former student who says he experienced years of trauma at school not having a support system. I would have been more focused on my studies um, and, and student success as opposed to just sorting out who I am and surviving. Um, so I, I don't think I don't think I've taken a moment to think about that. <laughs> um, but uh, I think that students today are going to be able to, to have a network of support and that's that's life saving. In February, the youth line is expected to release a report focusing on the experiences of youth and what people in power can do to improve the spaces they're in every day. For City News, I'm Faisa Amin.